The Insects and Organic Gardening app is much more than just a listing of insects that you'll find in your garden. We have sections here on soils, plants, planting guide, projects that we've done, pest control and crop damage. So you can go into the soil section as an example. That will tell you about your healthy soil. It brings up the photo of good nutrient rich healthy soil. You can expand that photo to get a real good close up of it. View the PDF which then tells you about what you can do to make your soil the best possible to grow your crops. Going back and go into plant section which has insectary plants, plants that deter, plants that attract and soil improvement plants. As an example here when you go into the deter pest section. This has a long list of plants that actually deter the insects that you want to keep out of your garden. Alternatively the ones that attract again the same. The PDF there gives you lots of information about all sorts of plants that you can use in your garden that will be beneficial to growing your crops. Going back, there is a planting guide that goes through companion planting, crop rotation, pH requirements, family groups, moon cycles and general tips. Lots and lots of information in there for you to grow. We have a section here on pest control which covers commercially available products but also homemade products that you can make up in your backyard at very little cost that will help you to control the insects that you don't want in your garden. And here we have crop damage which covers uh, identifying the cause of the crop damage. You've got damage there which is caused not by insects but by other factors. Ones that um, are damaged buy an insect or a grub of some sort and then you go through to leaf eaters and fruit eaters. Leaf eaters you can see here examples of the damage that you're going to get and methods that you can use to control them. Coming back now we go into the insect section and number one is our A to Z listing. So all of the entries on the app are listed in this section A to Z and every one to start with has a pest or beneficial notification on it so you know straight away if we're looking at a good guy or bad guy. Some are good and bad depending on what they do. And go into your PDF and it has lots of information about what that particular insect does in your garden. Then you come down here and we have the insects into lots of different categories. We have introduction to insects, ID pests, ID beneficial, ID beetles, true bugs, flies, lacewing, lady beetles, all others. We have look-alike bugs and also the different life cycle stages as in nymphs, eggs and larvae. So there's a great cross section of information there to help you identify what exactly you've got in your garden. If we go into eggs, it's amazing the different variety of eggs that you will see. We take this one for example as the fig tree beetle. This has a really interesting egg shape and you'll notice there that it has the red cross in the corner indicating that this guy is one you don't want in your garden. View the PDF and it will tell you about this particular insect. It gives its scientific name if you want to look up further information on it. It tells you when it's out and about, the description, why they're oppressed their reproduction cycle and how to control. It also gives you 
the photo of the adult, the egg, the larvae and the damage it causes. So at all stages of its cycle you can identify what that bug is. So there's a great range of eggs in there, what they are, beneficial or pest, quick reference. Really, really good. The same things apply to larvae, nymphs and the adult ones. Going into lacewings, just as an example, there's an amazing variety of lacewings. These are just absolutely beautiful, a good guy, wonderful little insect. And go into the PDF there and you'll learn about him. Why he's there, what he does. Look at this guy. Landed on my finger. Isn't that absolutely beautiful? In the pest section, this is in, again, alphabetical order. You'll see this one, for the sake of it, 28 spot lady beetle. Marked as a pest. Really good photo showing the detail of his colouring so you can identify him. And here we have the information on him, what to do about the damage that he's causing. Another function on this app that we're really, really proud of is this compare function up here. So you click on that and you can go to your gallery in your phone and select a photo of an insect that you've taken sometime in the past. You brought it up, you found this bug in your garden and you want to know what he is. So we'll take that one then. So that's loading up my photo now and it will load up all of the photos that are in the app. At the moment it's set on all categories. If you click on that you've got the option to go to whatever category if you like. If you happen to know that it's a beetle or a fly or an egg you can go into those but we'll leave it in all categories for now. Go back to that. Now that's brought up all of those. So then you can simply scroll across to see if you can find your match. So again every photo has the tick and across situation. You're going to know fairly easily what you're looking at and immediately whether it's a good or bad guy. So this one's obviously a lady beetle, but we're going through all of them just for the sake of the exercise at the moment. All of those um, photos are just here in the app. Ready to go, and could be that one. Perhaps it's that one. Looking at the photo, looks very, very similar. Look at the pattern in the colouring. It's a really good indication. We go back and then you can bring that photo up and bring him up. There you go. That's the one. So then go into him, bring up the PDF, and then you've got all about him. You can see there all the markings on him, and that's definitely that one. You can see slightly different colouring, 
So that's more in line with the photo off the gallery. But that's the one you're talking about. So when you're doing that compare function, you'll see on here, it has the option to go from the gallery, but you can take a photo of an insect in your garden and then do that compare function where you stand. You don't have to come inside, pick up a book or have your book outside, try and read it, whatever. All of this can be done in the garden from your app. Really wonderful thing to have there. And we've got also down the bottom here, we have the feedback section. We really encourage people to send in photos of insects that they've got, anything you can't identify we'll try and help you with. But also just general feedback on the app or your gardens and really interested in everything that gets sent to us. So we encourage people to do that. It's a wonderful source of information that we can then share with everybody else. The other interesting feature of this app is that when you buy the app, all of the information that's in it currently is yours to have. When we update the app, which we do on a very regular basis, that information is automatically sent out to everyone that's got the app. Everyone gets the new information and there's never any additional charges. What you pay initially is your once only cost. So it's really good. We think it's, it's, it's exceptional value and a really good source of information for gardeners.